this is Lisa Mathena from the Lisa Mathena Group Real Estate Firm, and today we are here in Milford at Benvenuto with Poncho and Lisa Johnson, the owners of the restaurant, and it is a Tuscan-inspired Italian restaurant, not your typical Italian restaurant, even better. So tell us how you started, Lisa, with Benvenuto, and what inspired you to open a Tuscan-inspired restaurant? Well, we were asked to open a restaurant because we had already had a private event facility at our home, kind of part-time, and had looked and prayed about a restaurant. And then we visited our friends in Tuscany in 2016. And when this spot became available, we said, what a better thing than to theme it out after Tuscany. Um, Tuscany has the most wonderful foods. So everything's fresh from the Mediterranean every day. The meats are prime and cooked on an open fire. So we had decided that was who we wanted to be about, was freshness and quality and everything homemade. And then we decided to decorate the restaurant after cities in Tuscany, because we had four different dining areas, so today, there are four different cities and villages in Tuscany and here. Oh, and in each room, the histories are written about those areas also. And again, we're just really focusing on quality in our wines, in our cocktails, in our foods, in everything that we put out. We want our guests to feel like they are very special and leave here thinking that they would like to come back here as their home place again. Relax. Well, I know that you took this restaurant over. It had been a different restaurant and um, totally redid the inside. Uh, it's it's amazing what Lisa, who used to be a decorator, well, always a decorator, I guess, has done to the interior. So, Pontra, tell us a little bit about uh, your wine choices and how you chose them and, and a little bit about that. Basically, we, the wines were picked with the backgrounds of a Tuscan inspired with no sulfates and things of that nature so that way the quality of the food will come through and we're constantly looking for new wines we're out we've got several different sommeliers that we work with to try to ensure that we have the best that we can at the same time our chef does communicate with them so that he pairs certain flavor profiles with those wines so that they will be um, accentuated so it is really a team effort as to what you're serving, what type of wine you're serving, with what meal, that sort of thing. Correct. Correct. And so I know it's important to me, especially, I have an issue drinking wine with sulfates. So it's very important to me to find a place, you have a, a large variety of wines to choose from that don't have sulfates. Correct. We, um, we try to get various wines, and not just necessarily from the Tuscan region, we have gotten them from other regions just so that way if somebody is not um, an Italian person they might want something of a French wine we can carry a very small selection of that and others so it gives a little bit of variety too they're not just it's not just a so to speak a one trick pony you gotta kind of take this sort of number. so tell us a little bit about Chef who is a personality of his own tell us how you came into uh, being in business with him and what he had, he raised to the table. We met him five years ago, maybe six now, uh, through our private event property. He was an executive chef that came to visit us and cooked for us one day, and we said that day, if we ever have a restaurant, he would be the chef we wanted. So a relationship was built over those years, and when we started praying and thinking about this space. He was the very first one we called. He came down and looked at it and about two months of prayer and thoughts and discussion went into this until he finally said yes, he would leave Philadelphia area and all the metro areas and come down here to Melbourne. Quite a change of pace and a change of life for he and his family too. Yes, yes. Well, I'll tell you, he has brought his talent and his uh, expertise. I've eaten here several times, and first of all, the flavors are out of this world. It's not your typical heavy red sauce pasta place. You get fresh seafood, prime steaks. Uh, they have specials every night. 
and the the portions are huge. Um, so I also know that you have a banquet facility here as well as your private uh, residence, private event a venue. So tell us a little bit about what you've hosted here in the past. So far in the year we've had um, anniversary parties, we've had rehearsal dinners, baby showers, just about everything. We've also done our first cigar event here, oh, how nice. which was very popular, and we are planning another one in the spring. A lot of people like to smoke nice cigars, and we have just brought those in to our inventory oh, really? with our cheese and charcuterie retail what spot. A great idea. That we now have some fine cigars for sale, and you can go out on the patio and relax and have one of those with your bourbon or scotch after dinner. So just kind of fun things to bring in. Well, and I'll tell you, their outdoor patio is awesome. It's got a fireplace and heaters, and it's partially covered. So even when it's cool outside, you can still sit out there and enjoy yourself. And one last thing, I know that you give back to the community you're in. Tell us a little bit about the last fundraiser you had, for example. Take my hand, Ministries. Uh, we work closely with our organization, it's in the 501 c 3 and that was basically to help our fallen officer who had recently, I say recently, in December, uh, suffered some, some major uh, problems from a shootout that he was involved with in COVID. Uh, Tig Mahan basically uh, raised money, uh, $5,130 to give his family towards his, wow. his care and, and so forth. And that was just what we try to do. We're here because of our friends and family, and we need to support them. And that's what Take My Hand does. It's exactly what it says, Take My Hand. We're trying to go out and help. So, if you're out looking for authentic Tuscan Italian cuisine, Benvenuto in Milford is the place to be. Tell us your address and how people can reach you, your phone number, your email, Facebook. The address is 249 Northeast Front Street. It's in the shopping center in the back corner. The phone number is 302-265-2652. And we uh, try to post things on Facebook as much as we can. We're not technically savvy <laughs> in that respect, so we have people working with us to help us. Good. And then the same thing, we have a website. It's uh, benvenuto-restaurant.com. Benvenuto-restaurant.com. So this is Lisa Bethina from the Lisa Bethina Group Real Estate Firm here in Milford with Lisa and Poncho Johnson of Benvenuto. Have a great day. Thank you.